Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. It has been a few weeks since I've managed to get a video out on YouTube and there are a number of reasons for that which I'll go into in just a moment. So today's video I thought I'd give you a bit of a roundup because I've got so much to tell you. I could probably make several videos out of what I'm going to tell you today but I just thought I'd round it all in one because I've not got a lot of time to make too many videos at the moment. But I have a few planned over the next week or two, but in this one, it's gonna be a bit of a roundup of everything that's going on. So, let's get into this. So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel again. Apologies for not getting as many videos out as I can or as I usually do, but I've had some family things to take care of. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail, just needless to say, my house has got a lot fuller over the last few weeks and it's been practically impossible to make any videos. Now, I do have an opportunity over the next few days to get a few videos out for you. And I've also found a nice co-working space in York that has a conference room that I can use and I might be able to get some videos filmed from there. So you will see more videos from me over the next eight weeks, up right up until the affiliate gathering. But for now, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what's been going on across my business. It's not all family things that's kept me away from the YouTube channel. It's also, I've been working really hard on my business and I thought I'd share a few things that's going on. So I've made a bit of a list, so let's run through these quickly, what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So first of all, I'm gonna mention about the snippet, give you a bit of a snippet update. You remember I lost my snippets? Well, I've got a little bit of news or maybe probably gossip uh, about snippets. Also the algorithm update, Google is rolling out an algorithm update at the moment, so we'll talk about that. Also photos, I've been looking carefully at the photos I use, and again, I will tell you why that is. Also, I've been having fun with my team. We've been doing a few competitions and I've been thinking of some ways to keep my team engaged. And again, I'll give you some tips and some advice on what I've been doing. Also, my age domain, Gardenia Organic. I'll give you a brief update on that. I do have a full video coming out in the next few days, but I'll give you a brief update on that, just to let you know how it's going. And then also, I've been helping a friend buy a website and that's made me really think about some things with businesses online. So we'll cover that. And then June, yeah, June, I'm gonna be clearing out some of my websites. So that might be of interest for you and I'll tell you why I'm doing that. And then finally, we'll give you a little bit of an update on the affiliate gathering event that's happening this year. So uh, lots to talk about, but let's start with the snippets. So what's the gossip, what is the news? So since losing my snippets on three of my websites, I've not actually had an update from Google about the snippets. In fact, they're just kind of not mentioning it at all. Now, maybe the algorithm update that's happening now, they may slip something in there that brings those snippets back, or it may be something else. Now, two of the theories that I've heard that are going around the black hat world at the moment, number one, snippet sniping. Now what this is, is people crawl a website, they find out how many snippets you've got, and they then report your snippet. So they click on a little button in Google SERPs that says, report this snippet. Now that function is there to report if a snippet is incorrect or not accurate. Now it said what people are doing is using that as a black hat method. They are reporting your website as incorrect snippets. Now Google doesn't have a process to automatically check them because it can't read. So what it does is it imposes a manual restriction. So they block all the snippets across your website and they investigate your snippets. If it's found that your snippets are incorrect, that website will lose the function and the facility to have any snippets. Now, if you don't believe me, this is in Google's terms and conditions. And I recently had a conversation with John Mueller and even he didn't know that this feature was in their terms and conditions, but it is. They can take all your snippets off of you and possibly there's some black hat tactics going around, snippet sniping, that actually can make you lose all your snippets because somebody has done something shady and gone after your website. The second thing people are saying is happening is people, again, are going and finding how many snippets you've got on your website. And let's say you've got 40 snippets, they are targeting those 40 articles. So what they do is they write 40 total garbage AI content 
And I'm not saying AI content is bad, I'm just saying they just click run on the AI and it pumps out a thousand words related to, let's say, that topic. But then what they do is they copy your snippet. So they copy that one paragraph and put it at the top of that thousand words of garbage content. So people are still making money from this because you will go on that snippet, you will read the snippet, you, you're happy with the snippet because it's the winning snippet, but then the rest of the content is rubbish. So they still make money because you've landed on the site, they've earned a little bit of ad revenue, you've got the traffic. Now, if they're doing that with hundreds of websites per day, then they could end up with dozens and dozens and dozens of winning snippets, which is gonna bring them in traffic. So it's not a good long-term strategy, but it is possibly a reason why some people are losing their snippets. So two theories there, both unfounded. I've not seen anybody physically do that, but it's what a lot of people are talking about. So at the minute, I'm just keeping an eye on it and I'll let you know if my snippets come back. But at the moment, no change on my snippets. So the next is the algorithm update. It's another product algorithm update that's rolling out. And I think they're doing this to see if people have acted on their advice. So they brought a product rollout in November slash December, and they gave us some advice what you should do. Offer multiple places to buy a product, not just Amazon. Add pros and cons to it. Make sure it's unique content, original images, videos. They asked us to improve the quality of our product reviews. And I think this rollout is possibly to see if anybody's acted on that and obviously to implement a few other things. But it is another product related rollout, but I'm sure it's gonna have a few other things in there. They sneakily add a few other filters inside these updates, which often affect sites that even don't have product updates. So be wary about that. I wouldn't do anything just yet. It's a seven week rollout and I would just sit and wait and see what happens. But yeah, just be aware there is one rolling out right now and it is gonna last seven weeks. So the next thing I wanna talk about is photos. I was recently informed there are a lot of terms and conditions in certain companies where you pay for a subscription, like Canva, like Adobe Stock, like Pixels. There are lots of companies that you can actually pay for a subscription and get images royalty free and you can use on your website. However, they may be royalty free, but they do come with some stipulations and some terms and conditions you have to abide by. Canva for one of them. I did not know this at all and I've been using Canva for years, but you cannot download an image of a certain pixel quality. You have to adapt it, size it down, make some alterations. You cannot just take that full 4K quality image and use it wherever you want. Now, I thought this was really strange, but I looked into it and it is true and you do really need to read them terms and conditions very, very carefully. Now, I do understand why they do it. When somebody said to me, I think it's because you could take that 4K image, put it on a print and start selling it as a canvas or a photo and you could actually, you could get t-shirts out of it and you could make money from that image and that's kind of not what it's designed for. So they don't want you using the best, best quality image on there because like I say, you could replicate that and make money from it. They want you to alter it, lower the quality and then you're free to use it on your blog. So just be careful. I've spent the last week or two actually looking at the terms and conditions and all the images and actual my process for adding images on my website to see if I can improve it. The best way to do it is take your own images. I know it's a pain, I know it's a hassle, but it's the safest way and the best user experience you can provide. So just something to be wary of. Have a look at the company that you use and make sure you're not breaking their terms and conditions. So the other thing I wanna mention is my team. So I've been trying to come up with ways to keep my team engaged and enthusiastic about writing content for my website. So I've actually created, at the minute, we're having a bit of a contest. I've allowed my writers to pick a keyword or a topic of their choice that fits the website and go free and write research and send me over a fantastic piece of content that they've chosen, I've had no influence whatsoever, I am gonna pay them for that content, but I'm then going to actually publish that content. And then we're gonna track how many organic visitors that article gets over the next 60 days. And whichever writer gets the most traffic, they will win a prize. I'm gonna give them like a gift voucher, $75 gift voucher. And I will also pay them for the content as well. So I think it's just a way of getting them involved in the website. It gets them enthusiastic. It gets me, hopefully, a great piece of content. And we all have a little bit of fun with it. And I'm gonna do more of that. I do think if you are building a team, it is important to keep them engaged and reward them. 
Not always am I going to ask them to do something to get rewarded. Sometimes if they've just done really good work, I'm just going to reward them anyway. But I think it's really important that you do look after the team that you've built. I don't want to lose my team. I have some fantastic writers in there. I've got a great working relationship with them and I want that to continue and grow. So yeah, we're having a bit of fun with my team at the moment and hopefully uh, we'll see some great content come out of this fun and they'll be rewarded as well. So yeah, just something to bear in mind if you're building a team. And then my age domain, I just want to give you a quick update. I am going to bring a full video out on this, but it is going fantastic. We're at around 15,000 page views per month now from a four month old website. I'm getting organically over 10,000 page views uh, per month at the moment and it's growing at a rate that I've not seen before. Now, yes, I have added a ton of content. There's almost 600 articles on there. We're around 900,000 words, so I'm close to getting to that million word count. So yes, there is a lot of content on there, and yes, that is probably why the traffic is growing so quick. But I'm also finding the age domain is helping me outrank certain pieces of content. It's got a good domain authority, but more importantly, it's topic relevant. So it's within the gardening, it's within organic gardening, it's within flowers. And I think that age domain with the authority and the topic relevance is helping all this content outrank some really big sites. So I'm really pleased with that. Like I said, I will give you a full breakdown. I have spent an absolute fortune on this website. So, you know, the numbers will shock a lot of people, but it is a big project of mine. And uh, like I say, I am very pleased with how it's going at the moment. A lot of work, a lot of money, but the rewards are starting to come in now. To give you an idea, I think it's earning around $400 a month now after four months. And that's just exponentially growing day on day. So yeah, very excited about that. Look out for the full income report coming very soon. So I'm also going to quickly talk about, I've been helping a friend buy a website and this has been a shocking process really because it's actually very, very daunting giving somebody advice about buying a website, particularly if they're looking at investing, you know, life savings or their pension into a website. How the heck do you tell somebody to do that? So I basically didn't. I said, you know, it's probably the most risky thing you could do. Traffic can go up, it can go down, you can get hacked, you could get an algorithm update. I basically told him that he shouldn't do it, but he's insisting he wants to do it. So I have been helping him. I, you know, I'm going to give him as much help and advice, not only buying the site, but also running it. And I'm coaching him a little bit each day now to give him some idea of what he needs to do. He's watching all the YouTube videos. He's looking at courses. He's getting really involved in it. But it does look like he's close to buying a website. Now, choosing a niche for a website and telling him which website and which niche to go into was very, very tricky. And fingers crossed, if he buys the website, I won't give the niche away, but I will tell you a little bit more about the process and what's been involved and why we actually chose this niche. But yeah, he's looking to invest around $70,000 and he's, fingers crossed, he's gonna make the completion of the sale in the next few days. And I'm very excited for him. It is a website that's earning substantially. It's earning a couple of thousand dollars a month, but there's loads of room for growth. But the whole process of advising somebody on investing their money has been terrifying and it's not something I ever want to get into. I, you know, I don't want the thought of, you know, his life savings being on my shoulders. But like I say, he was going to do it anyway with or without me. So I've just offered him a little uh, helping hand along the way. So yeah, very interesting, but very daunting at the same time. And the last two points I've got is June. I am going to be clearing out some of my websites. I have decided just to focus on three main websites. My age domain website will be one of them. My passion project, which is a new website that I've launched recently. You'll see it in my income report very soon. I've not revealed the niche for it, but needless to say, it's only been up and running a couple of months. I've got around 100 articles on it already and I'm loving it. I'm really excited to actually work on and write on this website. So it uh, just shows you that choosing a niche that you're interested in is quite key. So I'll bring you more news on that. But yeah, I am going to clear out some of my websites. They will range from all sorts of prices. I've got some websites 
with you know 50, 60 articles on, which might go for a thousand dollars or something. And then I've got a couple of websites that are really starting to do well, earning some money, like a hundred or two hundred dollars a month. And they will just be on a multiple, like a 35 multiple, something like that. So there might be something for everybody if you're looking to buy a website. I'll do like a garage sale on calbrobin.com and I'll just get shut of around five websites just so I can focus on my three main ones. There's nothing wrong with these websites. I could grow all of them out to be really good websites, but I think I just really need to focus this rest of this year on a few things. My YouTube channel, my affiliate gathering, and my three main websites. So watch out for that. I will bring you news whenever that launches. So you've all got a chance to purchase one if you wish. And finally, the affiliate gathering. So yeah, I've been working really hard on that. We've got uh, staff t-shirts coming in. We've got goodie bags that are coming in. We're getting all sorts of things in place for the affiliate gathering, banners and all sorts of things you need. You'll be amazed at what you need to run an event like this. So it is all coming in now and we're sorting through it all. Um, the speakers are all set, everything's looking good and ticket sales are going really well. So if you do want to attend in person, I highly suggest you number one, get a ticket because they are selling fast. And number two, book your accommodation. The whole of York is practically sold out for that Friday. It's Friday the 20th of May here in York in the UK. Now, if you can't make it, there are digital tickets that you can get. So you can watch it online, live if you wish, or you will have access to a replay and you'll be able to watch the entire event at your own leisure whenever you feel like. So. Yeah, really exciting. It's getting close now, about eight weeks away. I am starting to, yeah, starting to get a little bit nervous. The butterflies are coming now and I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic event and we've worked so hard to put this on for you guys and I hope you really enjoy it and I hope you can attend. And who knows, I think we may be doing this every year and possibly in different countries. So something I'm working on and I hope you guys get involved and I hope you do enjoy it. So for now, that's it. A bit of a roundup uh, of what's going on. Like I say, I've got more videos coming out in the next few days that go into more detail. I've got my general income report is coming out. I've got my age domain income report coming out. There's also a video coming out in the next couple of days about Ezoic, something they've released and launched recently that if you haven't got a website monetized at all, this might be the first step you should take. So more news on that in a couple of days. But for now, thanks for joining me. Sorry it's been a while since I got a video out. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you very soon in the next video.